dealing with uh, the fall, like the large number of cyclists all at once. That's it. Because normally uh, at a bike race, you're dealing with eight or nine guys maximum. And here you're dealing with like uh, 25 plus guys, you know. So that takes a little bit more planning, a little bit more preparation. But luckily, uh, we've got enough staff here, mechanics and stuff, to help deal with all the, the guys. So that kind of evens things out. Usually I like to have the two derailleur cables on one side okay. and the power cable and the battery cable on the other side. Okay. Luckily uh, with the other people that come along like Retool and uh, uh, what have you doing like the new bike guys, the new the new guys bike fits and stuff that helps a lot. Uh, I mean uh, we've we have all the positions from uh, the current team, the 2012 team. We recorded all of those before from their last race bike mm -hmm. uh, that we hung up in Drona after the season. And so we just basically, that's easy to deal with. You just transfer those positions over to the new frame and the new parts and that's very fast. But when you have like five or six new guys, especially the young professionals, guys are coming up from the under 23 ranks, uh, they take a, it takes a little while to to, for them to figure out their position and luckily we have people who are experts in that and then they just give us the numbers and uh, uh, we build the bike. Todd from Retool was very helpful. He came out and just gave us like basically just told us some numbers and uh, we just that's what we applied to their to their bikes and everybody seems to be very happy. Luckily we have very good sponsors and uh, basically uh, the Boulder office uh, was already jam-packed with our equipment two weeks before we got there to build the the new uh, round of bikes. So yeah, no, it's no equipment, lack of equipment thereof, that's not, never a problem for us, you know, which is, we're lucky with that. The guys who do Tour Down Under, mm -hmm. um, uh, they'll fly, because uh, the bulk of them are the Australians and the Antipodeans, <laughs> uh, they'll fly uh, home with uh, a spare bike and a race bike directly from here. So, and then everybody else uh, whose first races will be like in Europe and what have you, uh, they'll just fly away with one bike. So Velo will ship uh, frames directly uh, to the Girona warehouse mm -hmm. and uh, we'll build uh, the second round of bikes there, uh, either before or during the Calpe training camp. Can't complain about where we are, I mean it's fantastic, you know, it's, it's really good. But, uh, I mean in Europe, uh, we have our big trucks and have everything and we have the Girona service course which is we have everything that we need there not that we're really missing anything here but uh, for actual for a full-on bike build uh, we're probably building it somewhere in the range of probably about 40 bikes there or so mm -hmm. uh, it's it, it helps a bit to to be at your main base you know have the comforts of home exactly <laughs>